What's going on guys? My name is Faz Jasper. Welcome back to a brand new video. Greg, thank you so much for the introduction. I love the pronunciation. Love it! currently June 30th, 4.30 in the afternoon, and I wanted to record this video and shine some more light on the recent videos, whole TV fuel transformation, and yeah, I wanna clear some stuff up because I'm not in the business of making unrealistic expectations for young, impressionable teens that wanna get into lifting. That's not what I am as a person about, and there's something that I do not wanna portray Ever. There's a reason why I named my transformation video a seven year realistic transformation video because I feel like my progress is not insane, not crazy, it's an insane change over a long period of time. But the transformation itself isn't crazy like these 17, 16 year old who are all ripped, roided up, crazy big, shredded and strong. Now you can say, hey Jasper, you just don't have a great physique. That's fine, that's your opinion. I have a lot of fun in the gym, I appreciate the gym, I work hard, I've been lifting for seven years, and I love it. That's what I'm about, and I wanna spread that positive, good message in the gaming community, because I think it's important to teach young kids who play a lot of video games, that not only playing video games is fun, but you also have to make sure you're gonna be thinking about your body, your diet, and learn about athletics and fitness and health. That's what I am about. Breaking gamer stereotypes, not only to themselves, but to people outside of gaming who don't know about gaming and think, hey, gamers are like very unhealthy, boring, lonely people, which we're not. I'm gonna make this video quite short. First of all, I wanna say thank you so much for all the people who have left positive and negative feedback on my videos and the new people who subscribe to me and find my channel. Hello, welcome to the channel. Now, obviously with TV situation, there's a lot of stuff around that. There's a lot of attention, there's a lot of people watching it. The photo got over a million likes. I can only imagine how many people saw that photo. It must be tens of millions of people saw that photo. I know I'm very busy with my hands, I don't know why. It helps me talk. Obviously with a lot of people watching, there's gonna be a lot of speculation and there's gonna be a lot of stuff said about it. A lot of people who say something about that photo or who have an opinion of, on the photo, 99% of the people do not know what they're talking about because it's a picture. Now I've said in the previous video, the timeline and the picture is kind of skewed. This, I don't blame Tifa for this. He just wanted to get a very big transformation before and after picture up to get, in all honesty, to get some people talking about it, which makes sense. Unlike me, Tifa is not in the gaming community because of fitness, right? He's not. He's in the gaming community because he's very good in video games. So the picture he used is not a six month picture. And I knew this, and that's why I defended him on the, all the roid accusations and all the stuff that he's just thrown at him because I knew this was not a realistic before photo. It was a realistic after photo, of course, with the lighting and the angle and, and like the pump, it makes it look crazier, but we all know how Instagram works. We all know how fitness works and we all know how photos work. So I'm about to show you a very realistic photo of two weeks of Chifu into the workout plan where you can see a very good and realistic transformation base. Now before we take a look at this photo, I wanna give a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Alphalete Athletics. If you guys know, I've been working with Alphalete for a very long time. If you're looking for premium workout clothing but also some really nice casual stuff, check out Alphalete in the description. Now if you check out and happen to like some stuff, make sure to use code FACEJAZZ as a support code. It will really, really help me. Thank you so much. So this picture was taken on February 4th I'll show you on the screen. Pow! There it is. Now, if you look at the two next to each other now, now it starts to make a lot more sense, right? It's six months, it's a very short period of time. So I knew this picture existed somewhere. I didn't have it yet, but I knew this was not your realistic starting point. Again, Turner just wanted to get people talking about it and obviously show his honest, honest transformation. There would be no problem at all if he didn't say the six months, obviously that sketched a somewhat unrealistic expectation for people who want to get into shape, thinking, hey, I can go from this to this in six months. I don't think that's realistic, but I knew, and that's why I defended that this was not realistic because I knew it was from earlier. But Turner's point was six months ago, he started to go all in into the gym and he felt like he was very skinny. 
but he wasn't as skinny as he portrayed on the photo. So in that sense, I think Turner never wanted to mislead people in that sense on purpose. That's why I think I haven't asked him literally that, but his goal was to bring more hype, more eyes on his fitness journey, obviously by doing that. Unintentionally, I think, I believe that. I don't believe he's a bad person, you know? And he unintentionally made some unrealistic expectations for people. Now I wanna clear that up and show you this realistic expectations. As I said in a previous video, we've been working from all the way 2018, so there's a lot more into that of behind the six months. But the six months ago was when he went all in. Before that, he was kind of quit uh, the working out and in and, and January. Um, he started, he bought, he bought the gym, he started really, really seriously working out and seriously watching his food. And that's why he made this, the six month uh, claim. I think, don't quote me on this, I'm not talking on Turner's behalf, I'm talking what I think he meant with that six months. Now, am I saying it's good? It's probably not good. And in a sense, I take responsibility for that as well because in a three month video, I kind of made that claim as well. Now, to defend myself a little bit, I did not have the pictures that he sent me after. On the other hand, it is my fault because I did that because of the thumbnail and the title and I knew it would get some traction on my dead YouTube channel. So it's kind of a, a desperation play for me, which is not good and I apologize for that because that's honestly not the way I ever did or do fitness because that's just not the way I want to go about it. I never wanted to be fake. I never wanted to be uh, that guy that misleads people because I'm not interested in misleading anyone. I'm interested in making a change in the gaming community and it honestly comes from a good place. But I do apologize for that and I think I apologized to multiple people in the comments on Greg's videos, Phil's videos, and my own videos about that misleading thumbnail because I feel like that was unfair and I take full responsibility for that because I deliberately knew that a thumbnail like that would generate more clicks. In my head, yes, my YouTube channel has not been very popping and obviously because of this whole thing, it's been going better. This is a full-time thing for me, so I made the mistake of clickbaiting a little bit too hard in a sense of, this was more misleading than it was clickbaiting. And for that, I apologize. Hopefully you guys understand where I'm coming from and I hope you guys appreciate me sharing the realistic photos uh, side by side. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new and if you're looking for some fitness content. The gym's open tomorrow, I'm so excited. I feel so out of shape, it's insane. So yeah, back in the gym tomorrow. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys later. Ciao, ciao.